The war in Ukraine's impact on gas prices has many people refocusing on alternative sources of energy. For homeowners who might be considered early adopters of solar roof panels, the sun isn't the only thing heating things us up. It is the compensation as well. Paula Tupman highlights a growing battle between utility companies and environmental advocates. In Commerce Township, those interesting looking shingles on the praying house are actually solar panels installed two years ago by a family doing everything they can to minimize their carbon footprint and help the environment. My wife and I have always been interested in renewable energy. And those panels also save a boatload of money. Our average bills were well over $100 a month when you average out a year. Now they average about $40 a month. And what the Pryings don't use to energize their home, they sell back to their utility company. There have been times when we've gone 20 days pretty much off the grid where we did not need any electricity from DTE. Environmentalists call it compensation for energy returned back to the grid. Michigan has one of the most restrictive caps on distributed generation hookups in the entire country. Currently, we only allow 1% of a utility's peak load. But utility companies call it subsidies because of the rate currently being paid. People with rooftop systems are overcompensated for the energy that they generate and outflow back onto the grid, which means that all of our 2.2 million customers are paying more. In the state of Michigan, state law limits or caps the percentage of customers who can get compensation or subsidies, depending on who you're talking to, for solar energy returned to their utility companies via the grid. And environmental groups in Michigan, like the Michigan Environmental Council, are trying to educate consumers so they understand the accessibility of alternative energy as well as calls to close that cap. In other words, what these environmental groups want is the ability for anyone who has the funds, interest or ability to get solar to get it and be paid for it when there's extra power to be shared back into that energy pool. Eliminate the cap. Get rid of it. Serves no purpose. No other state has a cap like this. DTE is fast to point out they are pro-solar and in fact are building massive solar parks with up to 250,000 solar panels. But their take on the cap is without it, someone's got to pay for that returned power from homeowners. And it's the people who can't afford those systems. It's a really bad situation as it relates to the affordability of the energy that we provide our customers. Republican State Rep Greg Markinen of the 110th District in the UP, who is the sponsor of a bill to kill the cap, says this is as nonpartisan as it gets with reps from both sides of the aisle. But he accuses the chair of the Energy Committee, a member of his own party, of playing politics to win favor with big energy companies. For whatever reason, uh, whether you know he has shareholders that are donors for his campaign uh, that won't allow this, uh, you know, I don't know, but it's it just can, very confusing that I can't get a clear answer. Yeah, you know what, there's a, there's a lot to unpack here and, and people really need to pay attention because these are serious pocketbook issues that are happening in our near future, not our faraway future. I, I do want you to know that tomorrow evening, the Michigan Environmental Council is holding a virtual town meeting to educate the public on a, a basically alternative power as well as its legislative agenda. We're gonna put a link on our social media platforms so you can register, again, really dial in so you find out what works best for you and your environment, keeping in mind that the utility companies, Karen, of course, they have an entirely different view and they want people to believe that they are indeed um, alternative, energy friendly and proactive. We've got to pay attention. This is important now, not later. Most definitely. I don't think a lot of people were aware of the caps that you were discussing in your story, Paula. Yeah. Yeah. Again, got to educate ourselves. Most definitely. All right. Thank you, Paula. Appreciate it.